Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over a mod called Sky Client. So you probably saw my videos earlier on how to install Hypixel Skyblock mods, but there is a much easier way now as a client has been developed that will automatically install all of them for you. It just gives you a checklist and shows you which one you want to download. So uh, in this video I'm going to be going over how to download it and how to pick which mods, which mods I recommend from that that you pick, and yeah, everything about it. Uh, it looks pretty cool, so let's jump right into it. Uh, so first, you're going to navigate to their forum page. Their forum page, I'll leave the link down below, and we are going to click download. It's going to bring you to a GitHub page, um, and press the download button again. I'm going to exit full screen, and I'm going to open skyclient.exe. So you get a little notification that says Windows protected your PC. Here's the rest more info, run anyway. You'll have a little pop-up that shows Sky Client, and this shows all of the options that you have. So, in this you see it already has checked Optifine, Patcher, Skyblock add-ons, not enough updates. APEC is a GUI mod, I'd recommend keeping all of these ticked. Collection, if you want, Dankers, definitely. Keystrokes, eh, I don't love it, um, but some people do. It kind of shows like WASD, all that. And if you hover over all of these, it'll tell you exactly what you do, what they do, just so that you can see um, everything you want, um, like this. So I'm going to go with chat triggers as well. In this, we're um, going to be taking um, mob packet. Uh, we're not going to use any of these ones, except dungeon texture pack, yes. Uh, I would keep ticked um, the PAX HQ ones. I personally keep the 32 one. And yeah, um, that's it. 1.14, I would not do 1.14, um, if you want to, you can, and I would also check for Sky Reborn, because um, that's also a pretty cool texture pack. So, that's up to you, and we're going to now press that big Install Sky Client button, and it'll take a few minutes. Once it is, Sky Client should be installed, and then you'll be able to run it and use it. Once you've done that, you're just going to go to your Minecraft launcher, and click right there, and then press Sky Client. With the new thing, you'll have a new notification that says this installation has been modified and might not be supported. That doesn't matter. Just press the play button. It's going to give you another notice. You press I understand the risks, blah, blah, blah. It's going to tell you about this for every single client. Just press play. So you're going to go through all of the forge loading steps, except you'll also have a little sky client thing up there instead of the forge lo logo. Sky client 1.0, change log, and you have play, discord, change log, settings, quick game. So we're going to press play, we're going to press join high pixel, it's going to connect, log in, and all of that, and boom. Uh, you can see in your resource packs, you've got all of the resource packs that you got in. I am going to move out the other ones because I personally like this one more. Press done. You can pick and choose of these that you picked in the first step. Okay, and then if you also click mod options, you'll be able to see that you've got all of the mods that you had originally, and these are the ones that you selected on the first page, and you're now able to use all of these. So, yeah, that is a much easier way to install everything than going through and dragging them all into Forge. If you want to use Forge and like don't like this UI or anything, um, I have a video on that. I'll leave it linked down in the description for how to install it with Plain Forge. But this is a lot easier, so I recommend you use this. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.